Hi guys, I'm Maddie. I am a part-time reseller on Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark. And today I'm going to share with you the second part of my 12-hour half-off New Year's Day thrift haul. I will link the first part to it. There's definitely some good finds in there, but there's also some really great finds here. Um, some of it has already sold because I did go ahead and finish listing everything yesterday. So I did already ship those things off, but there's still a lot of great things here. So I'm going to start with kids. So um, if you guys watch my other video, you will see the best kids um, little find I could have ever imagined. These ones are more mo moderate pieces, but this is a Zara Girls size 5. And it is this fantastic olive green, like waterproof coat. And the uh, hood has like this fur lining. It's in perfect condition. I think this is so, so cute. The next piece is another pair of Zara Girls. Actually, this is Zara Baby Girls. This is a size 3 4, so I think that's like a toddler. And it's another little puffer jacket. Let me zip her up. And it's this bright red puffer. Really, the only um, sign of wear is like the fading, the cracking on the logo right there, but otherwise, in fantastic condition. The next kids piece is this marmot jacket and it is so wrinkly and this is a size girls extra large and if you guys don't know this brand this is like an outdoorsy ski brand and it is just this waterproof jacket not really sure how it'll do but I do have it priced kind of high at like 30 which for kids that's pretty high and the last kids piece I'm going to go ahead and send to the Real Real. I've never sent them this brand in kids clothing. In fact, I've never sent them kids clothing. But I sent them two Obermeyer adult jackets and they priced them very high. So this is Obermeyer, as you guys can see. It's kind of a retro looking one. This is a girl size 8 or a junior size 8. And... We'll see how that does there. But they priced their adult ones at like $150. All right, so that was all kids. Let's move on to activewear. So I don't typically find a lot of activewear. I'm kind of sad about it because, as you guys know, it's January. People are trying to get in shape. And so it would be a hot seller. Unfortunately, I don't find much of it. This is JD, sorry, this is Jamie Sadik. And this is a golf shirt type of brand, and there is no size tag on it. I did include measurements. I would say it's a woman's medium, but look at how bright and fun this is. It's kind of retro there too. I feel this is like 80s, you know, like a little saved by the bell. Then we have a pair of hardtail cropped leggings. This is a yoga brand mostly, it's size small. And they are really known for their tie-dye prints. So I do, I did go ahead and price these on the higher size for a crop legging at like 34 But I think that's being very optimistic. Um, something that I do is I let the item sit there for like a week to a week and a half. And it has zero interest. I know that I did not price this correctly. And so I just dropped the price. Um, I really only do that on Poshmark. So on Mercari, I set that... Um, there's like a setting on there. It's called smart pricing and I always have that on like everything. And then on eBay, it's just like whatever sells, sells. I get so many offers on eBay. That is kind of, it kind of doesn't matter. But this is what the back looks like. And then we have a Lululemon piece. And this is a fantastic Lululemon size. This is a size 10. Sorry, the straps are all crazy looking. This is the wrap it up tank. And I love black tanks. The black and the white tanks tend to do the best. Um, typically, Lululemon tops kind of stinkers. But that comps, comps on that particular style on black seem pretty good, especially with it being a size 10, because I believe Lululemon only goes up to a size 12, which, like, hello, Lululemon, let's be a little bit more size inclusive. But that should sell, hopefully, pretty quickly. Alright, next I have this interesting little 
um, skirt suit set. This is by the brand Ricky Freeman Terry John. I think it's Terry John by Ricky Freeman or something. This is a size 2. I showed you guys in the first part of this that I was going to send this brand to the real world and see what happens. This very well may also end up at the real world but I thought since it was like a set it's a little like share clueless vibes that I could give it a try. So I put like keywords such as like Easter plaid. I put ruffles of course. I put you know share clueless because oh my goodness so that's the skirt and then of course we got to have also in a size 2 the matching blazer I feel like this would be better if I modeled it but I don't know if I'm going to and then look at that the cute little bow on the sleeves all right now we're moving on to dresses I can't remember if this is a dress or a tunic to be honest but this is Torrid size 2. You guys know I love me some Torrid. Great bread and butter. It's a ribbed black. I think this is definitely a sweater. This is not a dress. But oh well. It's a ribbed black sweater. And then it's got the plaid at the bottom. This would have been so good for Christmas. Unfortunately I found it after. But it will still sell. Then we have Zara Woman new with tag. You guys can see new tag size medium and this is like a really great workwear piece it's kind of like a darker pink and it's a fit and flare and then it's got this texture on there so we'll see how that does then we have anthropology sparrow and this is in a size large normally my anthropology large pieces move pretty quickly it is a wool blend there's not much wool but you better believe if it says wool on it i'm gonna use that as a keyword this is striped fit and flare comps on this looked pretty good for anthropology so i started this at 40 dollars and then our last dress is a bowden dress and this is the cutest dress in the world this is a size six and this dress makes me want to like go on a picnic or something. This kind of reminds me of Draper James Reese Witherspoon line. So super super cute. Love the plaid and it is like a pleated skirt as you guys can see. So this would be great for work. Great for a picnic like I said. Next we're moving on to bottoms. This is American Eagle. These are in the style high rise jigging and they are kind of a lighter wash with all this distressing. So hopefully these will move pretty fast. Probably about $25 to $15. And these are a size 8. Then we have a pair of free people jeans. Free people jeans, not my favorite, but I figured we'd give these a try. Size 29. They're like a gray black color, probably more like gray. And they have the raw hem there. Then we have another pair of American Eagle. These may be a bad buy. We will see. These are a size four short. And the reason why I picked them up is because they're a wide leg. And I'm pretty sure wide leg's supposed to be coming back in. Let me know if I'm wrong on that. But they are wide leg. They are high rise. So far they haven't gotten any attention. So like I said, maybe you're wrong on that. May have to take them to Play-Dohs and hope for the best. And then this next pair of pants. I've never found this brand before. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it. I was uh, going through the racks and I saw this label and I just kept going. And then I was like, no, 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 I think that's something. So I went back, looked at it again, and I was like, really squinted on there and I was like that's definitely something and the brand is CP Shades good you guys can see that and the reason why I knew about this tag I had heard of the brand before but I knew about this tag because Jack and Ryan from Jack Valentine's channel talked about how you can like barely even read it so I almost passed this straight by but this is a good brand comps on this looked pretty good I have it started at $40 these are a size small and they're like this stretchy high waist pants and I believe these are cotton yes these are cotton but they're just like a nice comfy pant they also have a collaboration with free people if you guys didn't know 
All right, now we're moving on to tops. I don't typically pick this brand up, but I thought this was just really cute and a fantastic size. It is color Carl Lagerfeld and a size extra large. And I love this blouse because it reminds me of like Chanel Paris. So it's got the pearls on the Peter Pan collar. It's black and it's got these lacy sleeves. So this is very cute. I love that. And then we have a brand that I'm trying out and I have a few different pieces from this brand in the haul. But a lot of people say that this is a good bread and butter for them. So far I haven't received much action, but this also hasn't been listed for that long. So I need to, I need to chill. This is soft surroundings, size extra large. This is new with tag and it's got the extra buttons. This is the Danielle button top in sunset purple and it says it's heavenly soft. It's not that soft guys. But it is cute. Like, look at how these buttons are all different. Isn't that so kitschy? So this tunic comes in like a bunch of colors whenever I was doing my research. And I just think it's so cute. I'm a big, like, oversized button type of lady. All right, I mentioned in my last video that I really like to pick up college apparel whenever it's a 50% off day. And this was just too cute. This is game day couture. It really doesn't matter, though. If it's cute, I pick it up size small and this is a University of Kansas Jayhawks cheetah sweater. If I went there I would rock this on a game day but rhinestones cheetah I think this is very cute and you can tell it's like nicely made. Sometimes these sweaters are kind of cheap but this is definitely nice. All right a few more tops. These are long sleeve. This is a get this where are you at? There we go. This is a Brandy Melville, which I'm kind of over Brandy Melville. It doesn't move for me very well. Gray ribbed top. You guys know they say it's one size. I would honestly say maybe like a medium if I had to guess a size. I feel like a large could fit into it. It'd just be a little bit snug. And then of course a small and extra small could wear it oversized. All right, this brand a lot of people have been talking about recently. I've never picked it up. I don't know how it's going to do. It is Carhartt. It's a woman's size small, and it's just like this plaid button down. Typically, when people talk about this brand, they talk about the men's jackets. So who knows how this woman's plaid button down will do. I'm guessing like 25-ish. All right, another brand that a lot of people have talked about this is Roots Canada, never sold it before. It's a genuine leather jacket. There was like nothing in terms of comps, nothing. There is a little bit of wear on the leather, like you can tell that it, it was loved, it was worn. So I of course did disclose that. I believe this is a size small. No idea how it's going to do. I priced it high, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to price it lower. All right, we're moving on to the Harley Davidson collection. I showed one piece of Harley in the other haul. But I literally found some women's Harley collection. It's Harley Davidson, size large. Let me zip it up. And it's just this jacket. I think I may have called this a hoodie. It's not a hoodie. I might have to check that out. And it says ride hard. It's in great condition. And then on the back, it says Allen, Texas, which I always include where it's from. And then... Harley Davidson, Dallas, and then of course we have our Eagle. So that's the first piece. Our next piece is a size medium, and I could have chosen to lot all of this, and it probably would have gone much faster. I'm choosing the long game. I'm putting them all individual. Size medium. This one is a black Harley shirt. It's got the HD right there. It's got the rhinestones, and then on the back it says... Harley again in pink and rhinestone. So I thought this was really cute. Another rhinestone Harley piece. Size large. And then again, it says Harley Davidson, Texas, because that is where I am from. Two more Harley pieces. This one reminds me of like Halloween. So it's orange and black. And then the back is just plain. 
And then the last piece is this red one. And this one's a size medium. It's kind of plain, but it's got those snap buttons on the shoulders, which is cute. And this one is Dallas, Texas. So that is all the Harley. The next two pieces I was really excited about, and they weren't even marked up. Normally, when I find this brand, it's marked up everywhere. But literally, I found these at two different stores. I went to four stores this day, and neither one of these were marked up. And at one of the stores, I took it to the register, and the cashier looked at me kind of crazy, and she was like, okay, this is a good find. I feel like she was, like, upset because she was working in the back, which is where they, you know, price things. And then she took over a register, so I feel like she was like, I'm going to have a talk with these people in the back. Because it was literally priced at like $6, plus it was half off. Fantastic. Alright, so I found this one second. This one is the Patagonia, size small. I believe this is the better sweater vest. Pretty sure. And that's what it looks like. I love finding Patagonia. I'm not quite on the Pata Gucci train. I haven't gotten that type of money for it, you know? Nothing crazy. Normally I get like anywhere from 25 to 40. Maybe I'm just not finding the best pieces. I know some people can get like $80. I'm just, no. This is another Patagonia. This one I found first, size small. And this is the Los Gatos sweater vest. I love this one. I priced this one at like 60. Because it seems a little bit more unique. And it's that Sherpa, which Sherpa is super in. We'll see how those do. Moving on to sweaters and cardigans. We have a Zara. I think this is a size medium. It's a chartreuse yellow top. Then we have another Zara knit. Size small. This one's ribbed and it's a little bit shorter in the back. You guys can see that like a little V there. Don't expect anything crazy. This next piece is a Nordstrom rack. I definitely didn't buy it based on brand, but I did buy it based on a uh, style. This is Wild honey size large and anything rainbow stripes I typically pick up so it's ribbed it's gray it's got the rainbow stripe even though it's like a boutique type of brand it's pretty well made all right this piece is already sold it sold like right before I started filming but I thought it'd still be good to show you guys this is a super old J Crew tag but the reason why I picked it up this is literally holiday 2008 it says the reason why I picked it up is because it was 90% wool and 10% cashmere. Now it does have some peeling, I did disclose that, but it's still tan, it's cable knit, and it's wool and cashmere, no holes. So all of those things I was like, yeah, I'm going to add to the cart. And it sold for my full asking price on eBay for $28. And I would have priced it higher had it been in better condition, but because of that slight peeling, I just felt like... Pricing it even higher was just, it just didn't make sense. All right, and then we have a Madewell sweater. This is an extra small, and it's color blocked. It's got those little pockets in the front, and then the back is a darker blue. So I thought that was cute. Another sweater. This is BDG. This is Urban Outfitter, size extra small, and it's this oversized sweater I love this blue color it's so pretty and the sleeves are kind of balloon ish I don't think they're like real balloons so I didn't use it as a keyword I don't want that return coming back to me you know someone being super nitpicky and we have free people Ooh, my pile just fell size extra small but it's super super oversized I would say it could fit up to a medium and it is a slight wool blend stripes that neutral color price that high but who knows with free people all right brand new tag size small american eagle new tag and it's a purple it's like a barney purple cable knit sweater another american eagle size small 
picked this one up definitely based on style and this is a sherpa jacket and then it's got the little tie at the bottom i feel like you can pull this on when it's like uh, really cold outside like after a workout and this would be cute and it's really soft urban outfitters size extra small that's like an old urban tag i'm pretty sure and it is this oversized cable knit cardigan with the oversized buttons let me show you guys a better look at the buttons they're kind of folded i love see like this is what i was talking about earlier i love these like oversized uh tortoise shell style buttons super super cute then we have a billabong which i i don't pick up a lot of billabong i've sold it before it does okay it depends on the style size medium had it not been half off i definitely wouldn't have gotten it and it's just like a graphic a little sweater it's lightweight so you know they're known for like their beachy things so i still feel like you could wear this when it's like a little bit chilly on a beach over a bathing suit and it says beach love gypsy soul billabong 1973 then we have and i don't know if this is i'm gonna say it's unisex it's an adidas originals size medium and it's white with the big tray is it called a tray foil i don't know and it's like a minty color so i was really surprised no issues with it and there was a small spot but i did manage to get it out i was surprised because you know like thrift store gunk but fortunately we did okay on that one all right this is a torrid piece torrid size 2 and it is this peplum black jacket cute then we have a stitch fix jacket this is brand new a tag stitch fix and this is the brand skies are blue now this brand is sometimes sold at anthropology most of the time i would say stitch fix but you might want to look up some of their pieces because sometimes like i said could be an anthro piece so it is this dark like eggplant purple then we have another soft surroundings this is a size small and this is i think called the whip stitch cardigan it's gray and then it's got like it says that whip stitching which is just whenever it looks like this with the lines so i think that's really cute another soft surrounding piece i really hope that you guys are right and this is a good bread and butter this is size large and this is called something like the softest cardigan ever or something of that sort it is super super soft i won't say that i'll give them credit i didn't give the other brand that said that they were super soft credit but this one very soft and the last piece i have was also inspired by jack and ryan from jack valentine's channel and they call these these chewed up sweaters so it's super 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 distressed the, the thrift store i was at literally marked this tag as as is and i was like no it's supposed to be like that and it's rainbow and there's like it says it's one size i would guess like medium but as you guys can see these are gonna be like probably from like Shein or something of that sort. But according to Jack and Ryan, I'm taking their word, the brand really doesn't matter and it'll still sell. So hopefully that is true. So that is everything in my 12 hour thrift haul. Again, if you haven't checked out part one, definitely check it out. And everything is listed on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. I do accept reasonable offers. And my eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark stores are all listed in the description box. So be sure to check those out if you're interested or if you are feeling kind of lazy. I understand. Just tell me what you're interested in. I will tag you in your username. And I will tag you in the listing on Poshmark because I don't know how to do that on the other platforms. I'm sure I can figure it out, but let me know. Anyway, everything is listed in there. And I, like I said, accept reasonable offers. Notice that word, reasonable, don't be that person. 
Anyway, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you want to see some more reseller content, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. See you guys next time.